hello everybody. Welcome to week two of remote learning. Hopefully you had a fantastic first week and uh, wasn't too stressful for you. I thought this week we would try something really different and kind of fun. I wanted to incorporate a little bit of uh, a little uh, art into it. So just like always, the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to head towards Mr. R's website. If you've forgotten how to get there, we just go to the school's webpage, minehillcas.org. We go ahead and click on staff list, and we scroll down to my name. Hopefully you had a chance to check out my YouTube channel. I saw a lot of you watch many of the videos that I put on. I even saw one sixth grader who decided to give me a thumbs down on my video. I'm not sure who that person is, but they better be watching out. <laughs> and uh, the first thing we're going to do is find our grade. In this case, it will be fifth grade. Here we are. We're going to go to week two. The video that I'm making right now, uh, we will link it right here to the video so you can watch this. And let's go ahead and click on PDF so we can see what the assignment is. And we're downloading it, and here it is. This program is called Tone Matrix. I'll read it to you so you can see. It says Tone Matrix uses a 16 by 16 grid called a matrix. The vertical col columns are the pitches, which is basically notes. And the horizontal rows are is the time, which is like the rhythm. It uses this very cool scale called a pentatonic scale, which only is five notes. And I even wrote down what letters it is. And all this simply means is that every single note is going to sound great together. It's going to be impossible for you to sound bad. That's right. It's going to be impossible for you to make an awful song. If I keep on reading, it says, Further to the right of the matrix, the later the notes will sound, and higher up, the higher the note. <clears throat> okay, so all this will make sense as soon as you see it. Um, the next paragraph says, using the matrix, you're going to create a picture, a design, a shape, whatever you want, and you're going to hear your song in that cool design. I want you to create a picture, a design, a shape, whatever. I want you to create something, but make sure it sounds musical. And I'll explain that a little bit more in a minute. And then you're going to either email me the link to it or share it with me. Don't worry, I'll show you how to do that in the video. And make sure that you include your name and homeroom with it. So let's go ahead and figure out how to do this. So we go back to uh, my webpage and let's go ahead and click on Tone Matrix. It's gonna bring you right to the website. Now, if your computer is like mine, you'll see right now it says it has this really unusual thing, which basically is telling you that you need to use Flash. Yes, this means that you're going to have to use a computer for this. You can't use a, an iPad or phone or an iPhone. It has to be an actual computer. Uh, right now, um, I need to click on this, and it's telling me that it's locked. And if you see, when I click on this, this kind of unusual symbol came up here. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And right now it's saying flash is blocked, so I need to unblock it. So I'll go ahead and click manage. And right at the beginning, block sites using flash. It's usually recommended. You may want to uh, talk to your parents just to make sure that this is okay with them. All right. And uh, if you're having issues, you can always have your parents either email me or message me or even video conference me, and I can show you how to do this. And once we just simply unclick this, now our program will work. I go back to my site, click on it again, and now it's asking me, do I want to allow it? Of course, the answer is allow. And now, as you see, this is a tone matrix. It's basically 16 blocks across, 16 blocks down. And every single box is a, is a note. And if I click on one box, it's going to make a sound. It's amazing, I know. If I click on one a little bit higher. Yeah, 
and you can see higher up on the matrix, the higher the note. If I click a really low one, and if I click one all the way at the end, that's going to be the last one that plays. And if I just click on them again, they turn off and go away. Now I, I can make a whole line of sounds. Right? That's really annoying. I can go in a diagonal. I can make some shapes as I do this. And as you can tell, every time I click on a dot, it makes a sound. So like I said in our assignment this week, is you need to create a picture, a design, or a shape of your choice. So maybe you want to make a smiley face. Maybe you want to make a heart. Maybe instead of a picture, maybe you want to make sort of a design. Whatever design you decide to make, hopefully that kind of looks like a music note. <clears throat> Alright, so let's say right there, that's my design, that's my picture, that's what I want. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and click on this one here that says copy link. So I'm going to click on copy link. And now I have my link. Now there's a lots of different ways that I can do this. <clears throat> if I want, I can go ahead and I can um, email it to my, I can email it to Mr. R. I'll open up my Gmail and go to compose. I'll write down nice and big my email address so you can email it to me. In the subject, I'm going to write my name and homeroom. Okay, so you would write, my name is Billy, and I'm in 3MI, or you're going to write down, my name is Jessica, and I'm in 3O, or whatever your name is. So you write down your name and your homeroom, and then in the uh, body of the email, you're just going to hit Control V, and you'll see right there, this comes up, this is the link to your song. Go ahead and send it to me. And as you can see, I just got my own email. Here's the link. I click on it and 
it's going to ask me this question again. I'll allow it. And here we go. Here's the song. Here's your song, so I can hear it. It's beautiful. What if? Um, but what if you can't email it to me? You don't know how to. Well, there's another way you can do it. If we go to our Google Drive and we open up a Google document, we just simply type in, uh, click on New and Google Doc. And same thing, I'm gonna hit Control V and there is the link in the name here you're going to name whatever your name is plus your homeroom so again if your name is Jason and you're in 3F you'll write that down all right and then there we go our document is done it has your link and then you share it with Mr. R you type in my email and again, I'll make it nice and big so you can see what my email is. Hit send. And now I should have your uh, document, as you can see. And now I should have your document. As you can see, in my email, here's my invite. I'll click on that. And here's the link. I can just simply copy this and type it in and now your song is there so lots of ways for you to send me this link and of course if you're having problems um, you can always email me message me you can always ask your parents as well i'm sure they'll be very helpful um, and I think you'll have a lot of fun in creating very cool pictures and designs. Don't be afraid to um, make a very unusual shape. Don't be afraid to have quite a f have some fun with this. Now, one thing I don't want is I did mention that your song has to be musical. All right, I do want a picture. I do want a design. I don't want to just see you go ahead and highlight the entire thing. As you get the idea, it's really loud and not very musical at all. It's just a lot of noise. Whatever you make, it is musical and it has a design. I think you guys are going to have a lot of fun with this project here. All right, all of my very creative artsy students really uh, try hard and make a really nice design. Everyone stay safe, be happy, be healthy, take care.